Hi! So, it is a very hot day here, so I, I hope you excuse the use of my little fan to keep me a little fresher uh, because many of you probably have been suffering this heat wave and there is nowhere to hide you just have to go through it and oh well um, so welcome uh, today I have two huge announcements to make and they are both related and um, one happened, the other had to happen, uh, but I'm very happy it happened. Uh, so let's see how we deal with this. Before we keep going, no, no, before we keep going into too much, please subscribe to the channel. I am a nomad, full-time nomad for almost three years now and uh, I can share lots of things of what being a nomad really is. So please subscribe to the channel and stay with us. You are going to learn a couple of things today like working as a nomad because it's somehow there and my heart opened a branch. So bear with me. I I got an offer from DigiGee again to work this year and I said yes because I thought oh that is going to allow me to plan for a new project so whatever money I can make out of that it's going to be nice and fun so I said yes so I have to be there in a month by the end of uh, mid-June. I have to be there mid-June and uh, hmm. so so far from my New Mexico exploration but I will be back here because I, I am liking New Mexico a lot and there are many places that I really want to explore some more so I will be back. I was asked to commit to a three-month contract and yes, I can do that easily and that again, remember last year that allowed me to bring my daughter and her kids for a family reunion. Um, I have another plan with them. My sweet pet is rearranging the tripod, so yeah. it happens. We have a small home here. So... Talking about my sweet pet, which you know, her name is Lua. I adopted her in December uh, in Paramp, and uh, she really changed my world in many different ways. Uh, she's probably part pit bull, part dachshund. I just hope the pit bull was the female. But in any case, she's a uh, beautiful loving pet and um, <laughs> and um, so when I accepted the offer to go work for Bijiki again back there in the north of Minnesota one hour from the border with Canada I, I suddenly realized, oops, Lua is going to have to be alone in the hotel room for nine hours. And that idea, ugh, that idea was really torture to me because we have been together since December we depend on each other we know each other rhythms and uh, I don't want her to suffer I of course I will have to put her in a crate because I don't want her to 
get anxious and eat the chairs in the hotel that is going to be a very expensive work position uh, but the idea of having her in a cage for nine hours even if it is a big crate that allows her to move and i i have a I have been doing some research on how to keep her entertained during that time with lick mats and uh, uh, the Kong uh, with food inside and frozen and some other things like that. It was still very sad to me the idea of leaving her alone for all those many hours. I only have half an hour for my lunch break so it is not enough time to go to the hotel, take her outside. It's not enough. So, I was really suffering eh, the need to leave her alone. And I got an idea. The key is the word alone. Can you guess what I did? Oops! I, I am camping outside of Santa Fe in the National Forest. Beautiful place, extremely dusty. Again, please do not come to New Mexico during April or May unless you have an amazing tolerance to dust because you're going to be buried in dust. But every time I go to town or every time I take Lua to the off-leash park there so she plays with other dogs and has a little bit of fun and exercise, I drive by the Humane Society here. So I went in and they let me go around and check all the cubicles they have with dogs in there and I didn't see anything that would jump at me you know like uh, and I was very anxious I was not committed to the idea yet so I came back and I started searching their website and there were so many good candidates that I I hadn't paid attention to so I went back the following day with three or four candidates and um, the first one was not in the premises. They took him outside for something. I don't know what it was. Uh, the second one the second one was a very rambocious puppy and they put me in a room, they brought him in, and he was a he was a bunch of energy, four months old. I really didn't want to have a puppy. And then they brought the second one, beautiful dog, that in the website looked like a small little thing. It was huge, it was gigantic, beautiful dog. Uh, probably a mix with Akita Inu because of the tail. If so, lots of energy too. And uh, But gigantic. That dog doesn't fit in my van. And he was a two-year-old dog and uh, very peaceful, very quiet, very nice. So I let Lua decide. They took me outside to an enclosure. I brought Lua into the enclosure and they brought that giant dog and they couldn't care less about each other. They would smell at each other and then they would walk different ways. They couldn't care less about each other. So they took him in and brought the puppy. And it was like instant love, instant connection. They both jumped together and they started rolling and playing and jumping and running one after the other. It was fantastic.
none of them was scared of the other one. They were having a lot of fun. They did have a lot of fun for a long while. And I finally decided, okay, this is the one. So, his name in the shelter was Nene, uh, which I found funny because Nene in Spanish means little boy. And I thought, okay, I want a male, so there are no confrontations between two females trying to assert dominance. Uh, it's going to be easier, I think. Um, so they told me, they tried to convince me not to adopt him. And they said, you know, we have a program fostered to adopt uh, for two weeks you can have him with you and then you decide whether you really want him and I said no 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 eh, we will manage and I brought him back with us Lua was extremely happy in the following days she went through some jealousy and uh, he was resource guarding a lot meaning he had been very hungry. He had been very sick. They treated him for like a month and a half or so, and uh, they gave him the okay to go because he was uh, healed. Apparently he had bad parasites, and he had a lot of treatment for that, and they gave me some medication to just keep the prophylactic uh, stages going on and uh, I decided to change his name because this is the thing I had a friend we were very good friends he passed he was a fanatic of cheeses mostly French cheeses the stinkier the better it was his thing and once he had a, a female dog who had 12 puppies and I helped him find names for those puppies and all the names were uh, related to cheeses, names of cheeses. I remember one of them was the Lys de Dieu which means delight of the gods. <laughs> Very nice names. So in honor to my dear friend I chose for this new puppy, Mimolet. Mimolet is a very hard, very orange, very stinky French cheese. And I thought it was so appropriate to remember my good friend, Jorge. So, and if I shorten Mimolet and I leave just the beginning, Mimo, Mimo is something nice and sweet you do for someone else. Like if you see your friends sitting there and you go and you give them a tap on the back or you give them a kiss or, and you keep going, that teeny little gesture, it is just a teeny little gesture of love and uh, appreciation, that is a Mimo. They give you a Mimo or I need a Mimo. You know, that kind of thing. So now I have a Mimo. <laughs> and it has been an adventure. The first week he was not potty trained. He learned very quickly. And uh, right now, in a week into being here, uh, he already holds it for eight hours or more, which is not probably the best thing but it's going to be very convenient when we are in Minnesota. Each of them will have a cage. They will be next to each other, so they will keep each other company. They already sleep naps together at night and during the day. Um, they play together all the time. They fight, of course, but they, they look for each other and they keep each other company. If I park the van, outside of Walmart to go buy something. I leave them there and when I come back they are resting, they are keeping each other company, they are good and they are happy and I am so happy. 
someone told me, you made a huge mistake adopting this new puppy. You shouldn't have. Take him back. And uh, I so deeply disagree. I am so happy I took that decision. Uh, I'm going to say something that maybe some people are going to freak out. So, viewer discretion advised. I don't have too many more years to live. Because, let's be honest, tomorrow is not promised. So, I have been living in the moment for a long time. So, now, if I can, why wouldn't I? I, that was my decision factor. My, my decision thought was, hey, it's my life. And if this makes me happy, I am going to do it. So yes, we added uh, Mimo to our family. My heart opened a branch and uh, a branch. Uh, He's so sweet and he looks at me with love and I melt. So, I will introduce you to Mimo and I hope you like him. And if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with someone that needs a little bit of joy in their lives, because maybe they are going to take a good decision to make themselves happy. I don't know, picking out on ice cream, something like that. Anything is good when we try to be happy. So my decision was getting Mimo. I love my decision. I have been uh, working with him. We, we are training to walk uh, with a leash. I said, when I first had Lou, I said I was not going to train her, but both of them together, they need a little bit of limits for some things. Thank you very much for being here. I'll see you soon. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.